So, welcome back to World of Tanks, everybody. I have another game for you. So, as you can see from the loading screen, I'm in my Comet. One of my favourite tanks. I actually have a full girl tank crew in this as well. And I recently... It doesn't show here, I've only just recently got my second mark of excellence on this tank. So I'm doing quite good on it. As you can tell from the team lists up here. Ooh, look at that. Doesn't it look cool? Big fat Japanese tank. Anyway, as you can see, let me go back to the team lists. And I currently can't get XVM working if you wonder what happens to that, but yes. Anyway, look at that. Top tier. In a comet. And most of the team is made up of tier or enemy team is six and seven, so you know if you don't have a decent decent game in this then you might as well kind of go home. So let's go back to what I was looking at, hurry up the hill. Because the comet still has a fairly decent gun tower. I don't know how I bounced off the uh, M5A1 there, but I I managed. Oh, and look at this. The Crusader SP is already crying that we've lost the game. But I go up to the top and start working over the tanks at the top. So nothing really that special here. I managed to bounce something from the Cromwell, I do believe. I don't... I'm only trying to pop out as much as I can so that the OI Experimental there doesn't get me. So I'm waiting for him to pop up again, but it doesn't look like he's come in. And he pause there and I'm like, mm, anything gonna happen? Anything gonna happen? And then I decide that there was enough people sitting there, so I'm gonna work my way around. I was thinking about maybe getting shots down across the uh, square here. See if I actually do manage to get anything. Nope, can't quite shoot him. I'm looking for a shot there. Ah, I thought he was going to go faster than he was. Do I get a shot? No. Do I get a shot into him there? No, my gun misses. <laughs> do I get another shot? No, it misses again. Ah, oh, actually, he's not doing me much good here. Missed again. Don't know where that went. I was trying to finish him off, but nope. So let's try and get the Panzer. Yeah. And there's our first kill. And so because I don't have XVM installed at the moment, I can't tell you exactly how much damage I've done, so that'll be a nice surprise for everybody at the end, won't it? And so I'll probably spend a bit too long here pondering about thinking, oh, can I, can't I, can I, can't I? I was seeing if he was going to pop back so I could get shot into him, but no, I, I decided to give up. So I head back over here since the KV-3 seems to have taken a bit of a beating from something, I'm not sure what. But I wasn't really paying attention. And now I get to play with an OI Experimental. Dangerous, dangerous tank. I know it's tier 5, but... Dangerous tank, but he's looking the other way, so... Boink. Cheeky. Cheeky little hit into him. And I can see he's just fired, so I want to go after him again. With a great gun depression here. If I just pause it. Look at that. Look at that. So I can literally just poke my nose over. And they don't really have that much to shoot. So we get another shot into the OI. He's looking at me now. And I'm like, nope. No, I do not want to play with you. I see he's not looking at me anymore. So I nip forward. Oh, he's looking. Oh, I actually get smacked by the stir meal there. And I missed the OI. Oh, terrible. But we're still putting in the damage. I feel like I need to be yeah, a bit more aggressive. Since I am top tier and things aren't going overly well. Obviously we're winning. Oh, I managed to bounce the Tiger there. Or the heavy tank. And we also set him on fire. It doesn't look like he has a repair crew. Repair crew, a fire extinguisher. So I try finishing them off. I get the shot through his turret. 
That Japanese heavy tank's not looking so well. I'll go for the tracking shot on the Cromwell. Get it. So I should get some nice assistance there. Oh, I tried finishing him off, but it didn't quite work. Do I get to finish off the steering wheel? No, I leave him on, what, five health? And he's out of there, and I'm like, I want that kill. Cool. That Cromwell got his head blown off. But I'm like, I want this kill. So I auto aim because I'm a noob. And we get our third kill. So I'm doing pretty good for me, aren't I? Yeah. I do love this tank. It's just pretty manoeuvrable. The rate of fire is decent in it. The penetration's a bit lackluster, I think. What is the penetration of these AP shells? 148, so you have to try and work your way around and do some. But I do pretty well in it. Like I said, I've just recently got my second mark of excellence. I think this one of the only tanks I have two marks of excellence in. But then it's one of the tanks I play the most, because I really, really enjoy it. And now we go on in. Let's speed up a little bit. So we can see the Dick and Max is over there. He doesn't look like he wants to come out. So I think I'll work my way around. I can see him. Oh, my shot missed. And I got hit by Snake over there. 3002D. So then I decided to try and be clever and side scrape. Don't know why I, I just wasted that shot. Free kill. Woohoo! Up to the four. Do I get a top gun? Ooh, do I get a top gun? Do I get these last two people? You can see the Jackson. Is he looking at me? I do. But somebody else finishes him off, so no top gun for me. Pew pew pew. But we do get the VK3002 and we end up on five kills. Pretty decent game for me, but let's have a quick look at the post game stats. So as you can see from the stats, that was a mastery badge. And we got, for our double, 2,474 experience. The hit percentage wasn't very good, 64%, that could be much better. But as you can see, we did 2,500 damage, which is quite nice. To go into the next screen. That was uh, 1,237 base experience, so quite a lot. Especially for me, it was, what, almost double? Actually, it was double the next person on our team. I was top on damage as well by almost a thousand, so pretty pretty high scoring round there for me. But then, like I say, top top tier you in this comment in that matchup. Even I can't do that bad. If you look into more detailed reports, there you can see I fired thirty one. I hit twenty, so really pretty poor accuracy, and only penned eighteen. Although eighteen out of twenty is not too bad. As you can see, we did, like I say, 2,549 damage. Only 500 of that was from more than 300 meters, so because of the way that map is, you are you do tend to be sort of smushed in together quite a bit. You can see I received five shots there, bounced three of them, or absorbed three of them. Only two went in. We blocked almost 600 damage, so not too bad, not too bad. As you can see, we damaged nine vehicles and destroyed five and I guess we were doing most of our own damage because we only got 300 assistance. After the resupplying our ammunition we got 18,000 credits so yeah not a bad game. Not the bad game at all. So hope you guys enjoyed that one and I shall see you next time. Ciao!